Hello, in this video we are going to see how to create a machine learning model with a website called Teachable Machine. In Teachable Machine, we can create classification models based on images, sounds or poses. One advantage of this website is that no coding is required. We can do everything interactively. A second advantage is that the models are not built from scratch. Instead, this website applies a technique called transfer learning. Basically, this website uses pre-trained neural networks, and then when we create new classes, those classes become the last layer in the neural network, and then only the weights in that last layer are trained. To learn more about this website, I recommend you visit and read the page with the frequently asked questions. In this page, you are going to find more information about Teachable Machine, how to start using it, how to save and export the models, and how this website works. As I mentioned, they use transfer learning. Specifically, the image and post models learn off of pre-trained mobile models, which are convolutional neural networks, while the sound model is built on a speech command recognizer. Okay, so how can we start working with this website? Basically, there are three steps. In the first step, we create the classes for our classification problem, and then we gather the sample data. For example, if it is an image classification model, then we can either upload the images or create images with our webcam. The second step is to train the model, and the third step will be to export the model or to download it or to host it online for free. Okay, let's learn how to work with this website through an image classification example. I have pictures of an avocado crop where some of the plants have a disease as they have been attacked by mites. So I have pictures of leaves of avocado plants that are healthy, like uh, these ones over here, and I also have pictures of plants that are sick, like these pictures of leaves. So the goal is that the model takes a picture of a leaf and then predicts whether the plant is either healthy or sick. Okay, let's start working with Teachable Machine. Let's click this Get Started button. The first step is to set up a project. We can either load an existing project from Drive or from a file, or we can create a new project that can be an image, audio or post project. So for this example, I am going to create a new image project. Here we can select between a standard image model or an embedded image or model. So I'm going to select the first one. This will work with images of size 224 by 224 pixels. And then this can be exported to TensorFlow, TF Lite or TFGS. Okay. All right, so here we can see the three steps that I had mentioned before. The first step is to define the classes and gather the data, the second step is to train the model, and the third step is to export the model. So I'm going to start by creating the first class so I can edit this label and I'm going to start with the healthy class. And as you can see, we can either create images with a webcam or we can upload them. So I'm going to choose upload. We can choose images from a desktop or we can import images from Google Drive. I have the images on Google Drive, so I'm going to select this option. So this is reading the folders from my Google Drive. So I'm going to start loading the images of the avocado leaves. So I have this folder and I have separated the data into uh, healthy and sick leaves. So I'm going to start with healthy and then I separated the data into training and test sets. So here I'm going to start loading the images from the train folder. And you can select all the images or you can upload uh, a subset of images. So I'm going to select some of the images here. You select them and then click the select button and that will start uploading the images to the Teachable Machine website. Okay, 
then you can continue uploading images or creating the second class I'm going to add more images to the training class okay I have finished uploading the images for the healthy class from the training set now I'm going to create the second class which are going to be the sick lips so I'm going to edit this label and type sick and then I can start uploading the images from my Google Drive so I choose import images from Google Drive and then I select the sick leaves from the sick folder okay I have now 50 image samples for the sick class so now I have my data set complete I have the images for the healthy class and for the sick class the second step will be to train the model I could just hit this button or I could take a look at these options that we see here for example we have the number of epochs the batch size the learning rate these are parameters for running the neural network model and the people from teachable machine have included some information for example for epochs one epoch means that each and every sample in the training data set has been fed through the training model at least once you probably want to tweak usually increase this number until you get good predictive results with your model in this case we are going to keep this number as 50 but if we wanted to improve the accuracy of the model we could increase this number for the batch size a batch is a set of samples used in one iteration of training you probably won't need to tweak this number to get to training results the learning rate is another important parameter they say be careful tweaking this number even small differences can have huge effects on how well your model learns so we are going to keep it in, like this 0 0.001 okay we are not going to do any change but if you want you could edit these numbers okay let's train the model okay the training is finished it took some 30 seconds here is asking me if I want to allow this website to use my camera I don't need it because I didn't use images from my webcam so now we can preview our model and if we want we can export our model so we don't want to use a webcam we are going to use a file and then we can choose images from my disk on my computer or we can import images from Google Drive to test our model so I have partitioned my data into training and test set so now I can use the test set for evaluating this model so I'm going to choose that option and then I'm going to search for some healthy leaves from the data set so I'm going to search for images in the test folder okay let's choose one of them Um, teachable machine has uploaded the image and now we can take a look at the output the output says that this image has a probability of 100% of being healthy which is correct and let's try with a sick image now alright in this case this model is predicting that this image will be classified as sick which is correct in this case the probability of this picture of being classified as sick would be a hundred percent for some other samples the probability will be not that high we can find 60 percent 70 percent but I have found this model to be very accurate predictions okay now we can export the model here we can export the model as a tensorflow.js file or as a tensorflow or tensorflow lite so here for example if i want to use this in my computer then i could download this as a keras model or a safe model and then people from teachable machine have provided a script to try the model and to evaluate it in the computer so i'm going to download the model
Okay, so now the model has been downloaded to my computer and we can also see that if we wanted to test this model I could copy this code uh, for example I could use it on a Jupyter notebook that works with Python to test it so let's copy that and let's paste it in a Jupyter notebook on Google Colab I'm going to extract the files from the zip file to see the content we see uh, we have the model in format hdf5 and we have a text file with the labels we see we have two classes 0 for healthy and 1 for sick ok we can try our model on google collab let's upload the file so i'm going to upload the model and a couple of images ok let's test the script so first let's check if the packages are available in this collab machine so let's run this first cell we don't have to install anything because these libraries are already pre-installed in Colab ok so that's great now let's um, load the model and let's run the cell ok so this seems to be fine we can take a look at the summary of the model we see here the parameters, the number of parameters in the model so this model has some 500,000 parameters alright, let's take a look at the rest of the script so first, an array is created and this array will be fed into the Keras model then the image will be read let's use here some of the images that we are going to test this image will be resized to a size of 224 by 224 and then the image will return into an OP array and then will be normalized finally the image will be loaded into the array so we can test that part of the code ok, no error, that's fine and let's run the inference of let's see what class the model predicts for this test image so we see two values 099 for the first class which is healthy and we have uh, 000346 so this image will be classified as healthy which is correct now let's take a look at the other image and let's run the code and let's run the inference so in this case the image is predicted to be sick which is correct ok, hope you liked this video about Teachable Machine and now you have some additional knowledge about how to build a machine learning model without coding